So now we've got the causes. Let's talk about the symptoms. So here are the people that love their job. What, are, what do they look like? How do they show up in the workplace? They're committed, they're passionate, they're energetic, they're creative, they're risk takers. That's great. But then we got the ones who don't like Mondays. But we're okay, because we all really wanted to be here today, so we like Mondays. But there's a bunch of people that don't, right? These are the ones that say, I feel sick at the thought of getting up and going to work in the morning. And they've quit and stayed in their chair. So what do they look like? They tend to come into work with a bit of an attitude. Whether they know it or not, it just sort of permeates. You start to see increased absences and latenesses, particularly latenesses. People starting to come in later, leaving earlier, work hours start to shrink. Right? They don't speak up. They isolate themselves. Maybe they sit in a room where you're having a meeting, and they're like this. They don't provide input. They're not creative. They don't take risks. And there's this sense of lethargy. They're just lethargic, right? They, they move at a snail's pace kind of through the day because they just don't have that energy that that passion and commitment takes hold of. So that's individually. But when you've got an organization that's got a lot of disengagement in there, now you start to see organizational symptoms, right? So it isn't just about the individual. So companies with high levels of disengagement are not creative and innovative. They've got poor customer satisfaction. They might have a lot of safety and risk issues. Right? They're not willing to take those risks and put themselves out there. They've got high turnover. Those things are happening to your organization. So again, it, you've got the individual factor, but now you've got that compounding effect, right, that takes hold, and it really hurts the organization.